Good morning everyone, welcome back to another bird room update and part of our little vlogging uh, uh, little vlogging series we're doing, hope you're all good. If you don't know guys, we're just um, doing this little daily update video. It's a thing where I show you guys and girls what we have to do in our bird room to keep it everything ticking over. Um, we did a lot of it yesterday, we changed the minute sprays right in front of you there. On the left hand side we got all the swing feeders sorted out and filled up, and on the right we filled that. Um, I need like a seed hopper. But anyway, if you didn't know, we've got three chicks inside said box. Now, one of the chicks today, we still need names for them guys and girls. There, look. Trying. Oh, it's gonna be on there now, I'll have to get into it. But um, if you don't know, we, uh, we had three budgie chicks all inside this box. But we've got to go, are they still in here, the other ones? Yeah, they're still inside there, but can't. Oh, there they are. There's two in there. I told you, look, yesterday, guys, that crest is gone. That's a day. This is not a day, Ian. Which that every day, guys, with big birds. Uh, the cow's all gone, we had loads of cow. Cress, this was brand new yesterday. And as I said, the canaries made an excellent job of devouring that, getting rid of it, and all that sort of stuff. We need to find this little yellow budgie. Just run off. Not moving out this. There it is. Come on then. There you go. That's one of our chicks that just left the next box. Today, literally today. Um, we had to move one of our older budgies because one of the budgies got in there and um, started pecking the, ba the back of the, the head on this little one. So. I think Mom did the best to try and fend this budgie off, but it um, didn't go very well, really. So anyway, the best solution was to remove the budgie that was causing problems for everybody else. So that's one of the chicks, isn't it, mate? We need that for yet. She's a little bit... We're not hand-timing them, although we could do still. She's at that age at the minute where we could probably hand-time them. She's still a bit scared, look. Yeah, she's definitely going to be ahead. Do you hear that grumpy chick sound? This is why you must always put food on the floor, guys. So I'm going to leave her there. I'm going to, it's this canary look. Every day. Every time I open this floor, you get... Yeah, he's gone back now. Uh, here, I'll set you guys right there. These are unedited, guys, so um, we're not going to edit these videos. So I apologise for that. Uh, so this is why you must have food on the floors of your aviaries or your... Um, little cages, if you're keeping them in cages, you must have food down because if any chicks or adults, um, you know, don't feel like feeding off a perch or a feeder or something like that, you must have something like this down until they get strong enough just so um, these little chickies can keep eating. I'm just going to throw a couple of those on the floor. And um, are we good for Cress? We're good for Cress today. And kale, let's put some more kale in. I'll put some more kale in. No. I'll just grab a handful of this. You just throw it down. About every, um, um that's part of the cool bone now. About every week, I'll do all the bottom. A few days time, guys, and we'll do all the bottom of that ivory. We'll clean it up all nice. But we're just making sure that, um, in fact, what we'll do is we'll also pop a bit of water down. I'll do that off video guys. I'll pop a bit of water down on the side in a little tiny bowl. Just so that budgie can get um, some water if it needs it. But... Yeah, see this is how they live it. Look at this mess. That's it, that one there. There's a bit of egg biscuit there. They just get messy. See, there's some greenery there. They can eat that. And they've still got their cuttle bone over there. They need a bit more water. We'll do that in a moment. These ones. There we go. Yeah, we still need names for those. Um, those two green ones. There's a green one there, and there's one actually inside there, already paired up. It wasn't paired up. There. That's his brother. They're brothers. They're really nice birds. Really, really nice birds, actually. Nice, good birds they are. 
But yeah, we brought them along back. Um, we paid £20 each UK money, so £20 each. They've still got a bit of crest, so we're not going to bother so much. Just some sort of some kale, some seed, and bits and bobs, cut a bone, and I didn't block them. But we'll clean the cages out. Um, we don't do them at, well, I'll do them maybe every third day with a hoover, but properly with a scraper and all that sort of stuff nicely. Um, that'll be a few days' time, guys, so we'll have to do a video on that one. This is all, this is all electrical stuff, look. This is for the heat lamp there, when it, when it gets real cold, don't with the heat lamp, it comes in the bottom there. See, it's when it gets really, really cold. But it's not cold enough for that yet. It's pretty good, you just leave it on, I'll just leave it on night and day, but then the birds perch on that rope underneath it. But we don't need that on yet. Well, there's all like extra bits in here, I might as well show you. The extra bits and bobs, why are there? This is very good addition. You should all have one of these. The my funky looking gloves, which have not been out in a long time because we don't have birds that require that. But when I used to have African greys, I used to get these big gloves on because um, I was I was actually scared of picking them up. Because if you've not been bitten by African grey, ouch. So yeah, that's spare stuff there. Um, we've got some spare sand and food and pots and nest boxes. This is a carrying cage we've got there, it's a little carry box. This is for when you buy one or sell, I've got a few of those, so that's pre-made. So if someone comes and buys this budgie, this budgie in here guys was the one that attacked our hens, uh, attacked our budgie even. So this budgie in there, the her there, so she got inside that nest box and then started attacking the chicks, so that's why I went to move her. There's the mum of the chicks at the back there, the yellow one right in the middle at the back at the top. But the dad unfortunately died, he was such a nice bird, but they're really looking nice, those budgies. I'm liking the names guys as well, thank you so much for posting the names down below. And if you do have a name suggestion for our three budgies, then go ahead and pop that in the, um, the, dis the, uh, the comment section of this video. In the description I've already put the names of the, 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 um, the suggestions as well, so. But yeah, so this is just a short one today guys and girls, not as long as normal. I need to sort of and stuff, don't worry, and there's like, they're, they're really good. This is a wine rack, they're really good for um, putting your bird room for birds to perch on. Birds to perch on. Cage under there. There's some food in there that makes up that lot of food over there, so. We need a bigger set of guys, we'll get it in the future, okay? Um, but I'm going to love you and leave you guys today, and I'm going to just tidy, because all I'm going to be doing is hoovering for the next 10 minutes. We'll hoover inside there, hoover, 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 hoover. Fill up all the waters. Because I need some new water, so do they, and that one needs to be changed up there. There you go. So from me, as always, if you wouldn't mind liking the video, that would be cool. I shall hopefully see you on the next one, please. Make sure you hit the, uh, uh, the subscribe button down below as well. And make sure you turn on the notifications, just so you know when, a, when one of these videos goes live. Which is hopefully every few days. We won't put one out every day at the minute, but hopefully every few days, you know. So. But guys, thank you so much. I love you all. Big love to everyone who stops by the channel. And I shall see you soon, my friends.